you guys ever driven cars that look nearly identical? But because their engines are different, so is the driving experience. The same is true in Supercross. The motorcycles in the 250 and 450 class look nearly the same, but they race totally different. A 250 engine horsepower is in the low 40s. 450 horsepower is in the high 50s could be low 60s. 450 has a lot more aggressive acceleration curve and the crankshaft mass is bigger, more weight up top, the center of gravity is taller, so just turning it into corners and getting it to lay over is probably a little more difficult and it's more taxing to ride for sure. The 250 is definitely easier to, to move around and you can change direction a little bit easier. And that's why you tend to see a little bit more of that aggressive style. Uh, you kind of have to ride it high in the RPM. The 450 takes some grown man strength to get that thing where you want it. And it's not the amount of um, pounds that the actual bike weighs. It's more the way the motor works and how much heavier it feels. If you're starting to swap out, you have more weight moving from side to side. So I think that it can really get out of hand way easier. It's um, more of a, a beast to ride, I guess you could say. From a rider that's moving up from a 250 to a 450, it's a difficult transition. If you try to rev a 450 and clutch it, it's gonna be really hard to ride, and chances are it's gonna throw you down. It is sort of the new style, as you have to ride the bike easy, there is less clutch. There's not that aggressive blasting the corner and blowing the berm out. It's more of a smooth momentum, stand up, just ride the bike and let it work underneath you.